Greetings and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. It's time to take another shot at cold blood. Will it be successful? I mean, you could skip to the end, but what would be the fun in that? I clearly made mistakes in my first attempt. Uh, the most glaring one is I waited too long. That uh, Night 3 attack, I don't think that's meant to be survived. I think that's the game saying, you should have done it by now. So when Night 2 comes, you'd better be heading north. The other mistake I made, and the uh, narrator, Mother either kind of told us during the video, is that you really need numbers instead of tough. Because the melee attacks apparently are kind of weak, but they can proc Venom. And that's what does the most of the damage. So if you have a lot of them, you have a lot better chance of getting the Venom. So we're going to work on numbers, but we have to do a balancing act here. Because if you have a lot of weak ones, you're going to drain food really quickly. So we're going to have to see how that works out. And something that I do happen to know is that once the bullfrog is dead, you're not done. You're going to have to uh, fend off an attack on the colony. Nowhere near what we saw at the end of the last video, but at that point our resources are going to be kind of drained So yeah, it's going to be a little bit tricky. So we have to have some food. We have to have some guys left over So we're gonna to have to see how that goes, but after all we have to get to the bullfrog first, right? All right, so let's go up here Let's go to cold blood because we're just in the regular foracarium now now We do have some rewards, but I think we need to have a lot of rewards before we can start doing stuff all right, so let's go over to difficulty medium and I'm going to go with the, the vigorous guys because I think that's probably the best situation. They spawn with a little buff on them. So let's go and see how this all works out. Hopefully it works out better. All right. This Solenopsis Invicta Fire Ant Queen has landed on the edge of a swamp. She may be far from her native habitat, but the fire ants are well known for their ability to adapt. Competition for food will be fierce. She will need to raise an army quickly to compete with the local predators. All right, speaking of which, I need plots for food. All right, that should do for now. All right, and our first target is going to be here, because there's two enemies. But we need to have uh, warriors first, don't we? All right, and let's clear some more of this out, because I need a good feeding area. All right, and let's make sure that there's a spot for every piece of food, right? Okay, so there's food all around here that we need collected. And I need to start building a spot for my warriors because I'm going to need a lot of them. And night two basically demonstrated that it's a good idea to have two groups at least. So we'll have to see how that works out. All right. Um, could you guys gather this food over here and maybe this food over here too? You just grab all that, just clear all this out because I'm going to need lots of room. But I don't want to accidentally open something up, right? Okay, grab that food. Bring that down here. All right, so let's see. Let's start going with some warriors. I'm going to need workers too, but I need to get these guys going as quickly as possible. I think five is probably overkill, but we'll see how that works out. We do have food over here though. That's something. As a matter of fact, we should start opening this up. We know that nothing is going to come in, so we're perfectly safe in doing that uh, because the things that are going to come in are going to tunnel in, right? Uh, the colony it, lies in the shadow of a great titan to the north, an American bullfrog. This large female has found the perfect spot to feed. Sheltered by foliage and in the path of many wandering insects and smaller amphibians, she has no reason to move on. Uh, let's Eventually, give her she will need to be displaced. But for now, the fire ants have more pressing business to attend to. Yes, they do. Uh, let's see. Can I get workers too? Okay, I'm out of food. 
All right, so let's get the workers over here. We'll get the warriors over on two. And I think we should probably take care of these guys. How many? I have seven. All right. Down here, down here, down here, guys. The boggy soil surrounding the nest is lacking in nitrogen and phosphorus, nutrients vital for plants to photosynthesize and grow. To survive in this environment, some have evolved to supplement their mineral diet by trapping and dissolving invertebrate prey. Okay, I have this second group. I want this one over here at the aphid plant because there's like aphids up here. So they'll climb it up there. It's just a, uh, a small supplement of food in the meantime, right? Many of the milkweed plants growing nearby are infested with aphids. Their honeydew excretions present an ideal energy-rich food source for the fire ants. Right, aphids four, far from the nest are vulnerable, however, and are sometimes relocated closer to home where they can be better protected from predators and thieves. Okay, how many do I have? Seven. I'd rather have another one. All right, so make another one. All right, I do have to keep my eyes open here because uh, I don't want these guys getting killed, right? Uh, where are you? You guys are going to be here, right? Okay, I guess I messed that up. Okay, so why don't we get the, uh... A small colony of Fadele Morisi big-headed ants have established themselves on a hill to the west. Scavenging for seeds, aphids, and dead insects, they are unlikely to pose a threat to the Invicta colony, if left undisturbed. And we will leave them undisturbed. Alright, get in there, get in there, get in there. The ants have uncovered a group of hungry checkered beetle larvae. The soft grubs may look defenseless, but they have big jaws and appetites to match. Okay, good. The we, colony is we, starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. There will be food. See? There's food now. Lots of food. Okay, how are we doing out here? Okay, it's a small trickle of food, but it's something, right? I think, at least for now, the big run of food is down here. Right, right, we're full. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I don't like being full, so... Wait a minute. Um, upgrade. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. And then let's add some more here. Because I don't want there to ever be a situation where we can't hold more food, right? And then upgrade. We can upgrade that and that. That and that, and that should be good for now. All right, because I do need to add to this number. All right, you have... Get a nice ring going here, right? As long as we don't uh, initiate anything too quickly. All right, you guys are dismissed. I might be able to put some workers in there or something, right? So, or maybe even have another group of warriors, like I said. All right, so how are we doing over here? There's nothing there now. The problem is there's not a lot in the area here. At least that we can safely obtain. I mean, there's like one little tuft down there that's worth uh, 10. I mean, that's not really going to help very much. All right, we have a decent amount of food. I would like... Okay, that's probably pushing it, but I do need to uh, overwhelmingly win. Yeah, the one thing I don't like about this tier so far is that the enemies that you beat, the tough enemies, aren't worth a lot of food, which is a bit of a problem. All right, uh, why don't you get over here? And further, guys. Okay, there we go. In there, in there, in there. Get in there, get in there. All right, we have 12. One down, two down, There three are intruders down. in the nest. No, there isn't. There's corpses in the nest. 
All right, that's good. We're getting more food. Food is a good thing. Okay, this is getting a little close here. Okay, he just kept walking, though. That's okay. All right. Okay, so the majority of food we're going to be dealing with is going to be in here, which is good. All right, I can afford some more warriors. There we go. Add three more to that. So that'll get me 15. Um, I do need more workers. I very much need workers. All right, so let's see what we can do about this. We'll start adding them over here when we can. I probably should have saved that area there, but then again, I do have room around here, I suppose. Oh, you guys can uh, back off uh, right here. All right, but I mean, I want to clear as much of the area away as I can. All right, who's our next target? I'm guessing this way. I mean, that's where the first bullfrog is going to come from if it follows the same pattern. How are we doing out here? You can't tell whether or not it's actually feeding me or not. At the moment, I don't have any other source of food. And it does seem to be going up. So, I mean, they are getting me food. I mean, maybe I should have more over there. I mean, if I added more to this group, would it help me? All right, I have 24. Okay, so how are we doing? I got 15. Let's go after these guys here. Because they have food, and I want it. All right, get in there, get in there, get in there. Numbers, numbers, I need numbers. There are intruders in the nest. And, okay, that was quick and effective. I don't think I lost anybody there. I may have lost somebody, though. All right, and then we have this. Thing is, after that, I have to start doing big battles. So food is going to be a problem at that point. Especially considering I'm not upgrading. And, you know, I think it was this one here that goes to a little tunnel. So it's really hard to get all your guys in there, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, you guys have collected everything. I do think I should have one more there because it looks weird. As the sun sets, the local amphibians begin to emerge from moist crevices near okay, the water's edge. Okay, we're calling edge. you back. Lone invertebrates will be picked off quickly. The ants should travel in numbers or not at all. Yeah, I prefer the not at all philosophy for now. Okay, so we have 200 uh, extra food at the moment. Uh, we do have this, and this shouldn't be too much of a fight, right? All right, so let's get them over here. The real food, of course, is down here. All right, get in there. Predators get in are there. loose in the nest. Get in there. The larvae must be protected. Get in there quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, there we go. You need numbers. A bombardier beetle, Brachinus altianus, is hunting for insects outside the there nest. It, it may seem unwise for it to wander so freely amongst the large amphibians that share the I mean, swamp at food night, there. but they would do well to leave it alone. This beetle is a master of chemical you know? warfare. I mean, should I send the little group out to keep gathering food? All right, you know what? Go over there. Because I need to have food coming in, you know? So we'll see how that works out. Uh, I actually have a lot of food. So let's start uh, a little bit more in terms of growth. But I don't want to lose too much. Because these other fights are going to be hard. Alright, and I might as well just have these guys clearing this stuff away here. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, these are ants. I mean, they shouldn't be messing me with me here, right? I mean, they have plenty of sources of food. At night, eastern narrow-mouthed toads patrol above ground looking for food. 
Ants oh, make up 75% of their diet, so the small colony must stay alert. To make matters worse, they are excellent diggers. It's only a matter of time before one tunnels its way into the nest. Alright, I can't afford to lose anybody. I'm calling them back. Okay, so we're going to get attacked by toads, but it's only going to be one. And we're going to get a countdown when that begins. Alright, um, we can go after this one. It's the second battle that I'm really concerned with. There are okay. intruders in the nest. Right here. A fully developed checkered beetle, Enoclerus rosmaris, has been disturbed numbers, 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 by the numbers, ants. Numbers, 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 It has the same ravenous appetite and slicing jaws numbers. as its juvenile counterpart. But now paired with thick armor plates, it represents a far greater danger to the colony. Okay, I can't help but notice that the health of the bullfrog is going up. A narrow-mouthed oh. toad has burrowed oh, into the nest. Get him, it get him, get him, get him. for a toad, but its appetite for ants is insatiable. I missed that completely. Secretions from its skin burn any that manage to escape its projectile tongue. Uh... And he just burned. Okay, it was the uh, the new brood with the superpower abilities that took care of him. You know, it just sucks that something like that has nearly no food content at all. You know, I mean that's just really kind of annoying. Uh, is that food there? Okay, I think it's just a uh, a mushroom or something like that. All right, now there are other ones, but if this is like um, it, like the first time we did this, it's not a problem. Okay, so I do have an, an amount of food. I need to kill these guys. Then I have all of this available to me here, right? And this and stuff like that. But I do have to... See, this encounter is actually three of those beetles. So that's going to be uh, requiring a little bit more force. But I do need to have... I do need to have food available. All right, what's going on outside? All right, I'm thinking, why don't you guys go back over here and grab that? All right, there's the bombardier wandering around. All right, we're starting off with uh, 192. Actually, we're eating through it, I guess, because we're restoring our troops. Okay, 184 at this point. All right, let's see. Let's tunnel our way to mostly get there, right? I don't want to go too close. We'll go that far. Because who knows when they actually open. I don't remember how close we have to get for that. All right. But I need that food to start building my forces. How is it going on on the outside? Okay, I am getting some food from these guys. Okay, are you guys climbing? Because they're supposed to climb, right? Dawn breaks. And the salamanders and toads retire to their damp alcoves to wait out the sun. All right. Do Only the great food? bullfrog remains. She sits patiently on her throne, waiting for the next meal to wander by. Okay, there's food over here. And there's nobody there. All right, just come over here quickly. I should probably add to those numbers of, of workers. It's just that it's a bit of a problem at the moment, isn't it? Where are you? There they are. And there's food here too. I should the be ants back. have been attracted to secretions of nectar produced by a yellow pitcher plant. In order to feed, however, the ants must position themselves precariously over a deep vat of digestive liquid. Waxy deposits on the rim ensure that any ant that steps too far in won't be stepping out again. Okay, I just noticed this guy. Okay, are they getting food? Okay, are they falling in? Oh, that's bad. 
Okay, that's uh, that's a problem. You know what? Magnolia green jumping spider, Lisa right. Man I, I need to get back going has in ambushed here. a fire ant. It prefers to hunt on foliage where it is less likely to be All spotted right. by predators and prey alike. Out on the ground, it's more vulnerable, but that won't stop it from snacking on lone ants far from the safety of the nest. All right. Because I need to take these guys out. This has to be my next priority. Because I need that food. All right, so I had to call them back because of this spider in the way. So let them uh, munch on this whenever they can. Is there anything else around? Uh, yes, there's spiders around. I guess spiders only come out in the daytime. Uh, considering the uh, salamanders and the amphibians are out at night, I can understand that. Okay, I have 24. Uh, and I'm also a little bit low on food, so... Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. I want to draw them out. So this is what I want to do. I want to get this over here, and maybe like one at a time will come out. We got kind of lucky the last time because the beetle came out without the, the big larvae. So I'm kind of hoping the same thing happens again. All right, so open this up. Okay, and then this one, just in case. And I guess this one too, because I don't want to fight in there. All right. There are intruders in the nest. I guess not. All right, this is it. Winning this fight is utterly critical. One down. Two down. Okay, three down. Okay, and that's good. That means that the food is ours. I need workers now. So I'm going to build up on the workers. Where did I leave? These are the guys who are outside, I believe, right? Yeah, these are the guys on the inside. All right, so let's get more workers because I need to gather. Okay, for the moment, the warriors can help with this. Actually, the warriors probably should do the most of it. All right, go down and get that. All right, and... Um We'll make three the guys inside. The colony is starving. Uh, it there won't be in a moment. food to feed the new brood. It won't be in a moment. It won't be in a moment. How are things going on out here? Okay, dude, there's some up there. Climb the tree. See, I'm not noticing them climbing. They're supposed to be climbing. Maybe there's nothing else up there? I don't know. It's just that there's not really many sources of food around here. If you kill one of the beetles or the spiders, you'll lose more resources than you gain from it. Okay, the food's coming now, that's for sure. All right, who's up next? Tunnel in there. There's actually two enemies there, but I'm not concerned about them. Okay, so now the food is filling up quickly, so let's do some upgrading so that we can hold a lot. And then let's make some more. All right, that should do. And let's start going crazy with combat forces. All right, that should do for that for now. Okay, so why don't you guys go down here? And who's the other one? Three, you guys can go up there. And you guys keep doing what you're doing. We love you. It's just, I would really like it if I saw one of you climb that tree. I know it's a plant, but to them it's a tree, right? I just feel better about it. All right, we are getting a goodly amount of uh, resources here, which is good. 
I should probably start working on another, can we get that out of the way? I should probably start working on another group of warriors because I'm probably going to need them. for the next invasion, because we are going to get hit by two of the frogs at the same time. All right, so why don't we just tunnel over here? We'll take these guys and let them do it. And I still have a lot to grab. Okay, somebody want to start doing that, please? Okay, is there a problem? I guess maybe I have the workers busy. The cell actually, oh yeah, right. Why don't we just have them all together for now? Okay, I need them, I need them. Get in there, get in there. You take care of that. And they'll also clear that out too. All right, and the food is There are is intruders doing... in the nest. Yeah, no, there's not. Okay, they're carrying food, which is good. All right, this area is empty. This area we're still doing. We still have this one and this one. Let's just build tunnels. Let's build tunnels. Okay, I am starting to fill up a lot, so more of these. I have no idea how many I'm going to need. And we're going to run into problems along the way, too. It's just I want those uh, problems dispatched quickly, if you know what I mean. I also do want to be able to hold a lot of food because we're going to need it for replacements. And we're also going to need it to uh, for the attack when it comes um, on the uh, on the colony. Okay, so I have 31 in one group. I have 19 in another group. The food is just building, which is wonderful. We are going to lose some when the attacks come, but I want to overwhelm them and hopefully kill them quickly so that I don't have problems. All right, let's get some more going here. All right, that should do for that for now. How are we doing here? All right, should I gather this now? I mean, I could always have the uh, workers doing that while I'm sending the guys north, right? All right, you guys, you don't need to be there. Boom. For now, why don't you... Actually, we need you to leave there. Um, how are we doing on the outside? Okay, keep going. Oh, wow, that's a biggie. Keep going, guys. We love you. You're doing a great job. All right, so at the moment, it's kind of clear. You know, it's, you know, obviously that's terrifying. But I mean, if we had to leave right now, you know, they cut around this way, maybe go down this way. There doesn't seem to be anything in the way. There's actually dead insects up here. Of course, I'm going to have to uh, stop their food collecting when I deploy them because... Um, I don't want them turning back and going back home with some food in their hands when uh, I really do want them, you know, killing things for me. All right, so what do I have? I have a total of 57. I have, okay, why don't we just like kind of even it out? Um, Once really again, add. dusk sets in over the swamp. Soon, the sandy undergrowth will be teeming with salamanders, toads, and nocturnal beetles. Okay, that's uh, that's that's a code for bring the troops back in. See, they have a lot more food available than to, than me. You know, I mean, I had that little part down here, but then we had a big old spider in the way. I mean, I could send the military down there. But I mean, I would take losses more than the gain. Okay, that's actually interesting right there. And then we had the bombardier beetle out again. 
All right, so let's just take a quick look at what we still have. Okay, somebody didn't gather something there. Go get that. Um, now, I have this source here, and I have this source here. All right, I think we're going to save this one. So why don't you guys grab that for a little while? Because as soon as I see the countdown for the tortoises, you guys are coming back, and I'm going to split you up. All right, I want two more. One, two. Okay, so I got two groups of 31 for no reason other than it is now even, right? Okay, did you guys get that? Did, did somebody get that food? I mean, isn't that food? Okay, and let it go. Okay, no, that was just guys. All right, so they got the food. All right, for the moment, why don't we throw you guys into this and you can just generally help. All right, we got a bunch of food coming and now I need the warriors to be ready because I see there's toads coming. All right, so uh, we're going to save this one. We're going to gather this while we're sending the troops north because we're going to need replacements. And since we're going to do that, I'm going to add a couple to the military here. You, 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 and then you, you, and you. All right, so that should be, I guess, uh, 34 each when we're done. I'm also going to need to break them up right now. Okay, one and two, because we are going to be attacked. Okay, there's one, there's another, there's another. So two of them are going to attack us at the same time. The last time, yeah, there it is right there. This guy, all right, you over here. And there's another one that attacked us over this way at the same time. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. There's the other one. There's the other one. All right. Okay, is he going to break through here? If he breaks through here... Oh, that was wrong. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. All right, kill him. Kill him. Okay, oh, the other one's... He, he deviated. You, go over here. Take that one out. Okay, he's dead. Get over here and help him. Okay, that was uh, taken care of. Yeah, but they're really just not worth very much, are they? And that's really kind of annoying. Okay, so you guys are going back. Here, cancel that. Cancel that. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we got a third one. Maybe that's because of how advanced my group was this time. I mean, we only got, um, we, we only got, uh, what's in the last time? Uh, we only got two of them. So maybe it's because I dispatched them so quickly. All right, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. This one might be a problem. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Cancel your movement. Cancel your movement. Put these guys both in two. If he eats through that wall, I will deploy. But the two times that I've done this, remember the failed attempt um, when the game didn't say, yeah, he's running, he's running. All right, as soon as daytime comes, my troops are going north. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the workers, I'll send those same guys outside, but this group over here is going to be gathering this food. All right, they do seem to be leaving. All right, so let's take the opportunity to throw a couple of extra of these guys in here. Because it's not that expensive, and the, the quicker the workers are doing the job, the better. All right, so I have 68. Oh, that's like a round number, isn't it? It's like one more here, one more over here. There we go. All right, because we do have to remember that once the bullfrog is dead, there will be a t an attack on the, um, the colony. Okay, so what do we got in our way at the moment? 
For okay, the, the swamp amphibians, the nighttime feast is over. Toads give way to tiger beetles, and the ant colonies step up their activities. If the fire ants are to stand any chance of establishing a long-lasting empire, they must grow quickly. There is no time to waste. Okay, that means we do this now. That's what we mean. All right, so let's get the troops out. All right, so this is where I find out whether or not this was, uh, if I did this enough. All right, in the meantime, what I would like you guys to do, you guys, get down here and start collecting this. All right, um... Oh, and I need to turn your food collection off. No food collection. All right, let's go. And please, please, please do not see me. No, no, he's going that way. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. Move, 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 move. I do not need the... I don't need the bombardier to see it. A wingless parasitic wasp, Dazzy Mutilla occidentalis, more commonly known as the I Red don't Velvet need this. Ant, has wandered into Invicta territory. Although not on the hunt for fire ants, it okay. will defend itself if threatened. All right. Armed with an extremely powerful sting and displaying bright warning stripes, most creatures give it a wide berth. Move up, move up, move up, move up. I just, I just wasted a lot of my food. Okay, this guy is just junk in comparison. Okay, why did you do that? Disable gather, please. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. The fire ants have mounted their first attack. Okay, upon a so he's got American like nearly 10,000 health. Aids, the brave frontline soldiers are quickly crushed and eaten. They must surround and swarm the enormous creature to stand any chance of defeating it. A six-spotted tiger beetle, Chichindala sexcutata, is on the move oh, near the nest. Oh, come on, get its out of the way! Its metallic green elytra make it unmistakable, and like its other tiger beetle cousins, long legs give it the speed to chase down small arthropods with ease. Okay, what's going on inside? There's not enough food to feed the new brood. Oh god, I did that wrong! These guys are not gathering, I did it wrong! Oh no. I think I may have just messed up my game now. He is getting damaged. It's the venom, I think. It's just that I need... Uh, that was stupid. I was wondering what went wrong in terms of turning off the feed. I did it for the guys who I wanted to gather food. Oh, that's a disaster. Now they're going to be trickling out. But do we still have some brave guys up there who are doing the job? It's just that I think he's cleaning them off one by one. Okay, here they come. Okay, just nobody run into them, please. Nobody run into them. Okay, and there's nobody on him anymore. Come on, get up on him, get up on him, crawl on him. Okay, health is going down. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, they're just going to trickle out now because of the, the food problem. Oh, you know what? I should have these guys doing this thing over here anyway. Are we empty with food? No, we're not. You know what? No, 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 no. Go down here and grab that food. Okay, 6,500. Yeah, the problem is it's going to be trickling in now. 64. Again and again, soldiers clamp onto the bullfrog's leathery skin and inject their solenopsis venom, but the beast shows no signs of oh God. Do you the see what I just did? must maintain their resolve. Do you see what I just did? I, I, I told the, uh, the two group to gather from the other thing. I really have to be very careful what I'm doing when I do selections, don't I? Uh, you, down here. Okay, so they're gathering this stuff. I suppose the good part about that is that they gather to a large force, right? Right, get on there.
Okay, once I'm out of food, once once that pocket is done, I am I am toast. Okay, what do they got? 6200. Oh, that mistake costed me a lot. How are we doing? Oh, there's food down there. If I hadn't told them not to do that. Okay, how are we doing? Yeah, the thing is there's not enough now to to like mass him, you know? Because he's going to eat a lot of them as they approach. I should say sheep, by the way. So you need to hit them with a, a hit them with a large amount so that the, a lot of them will crawl on and be um, doing damage. How are we doing here? Okay, he's got a bunch of them there, and they're stinging him and hopefully poisoning him. He was about, he was just under 10,000 when we started. Yeah, the food is the problem, though. That is a huge problem. I mean, there's still plenty of food down here. It's just, I probably should have started the collection earlier. Well, you know, I did start the collection earlier, didn't I? And now we have a problem. No, no, please don't see him. Please don't see him. Please don't see them. Keep going, keep going. Okay. We're doing you all a favor, don't you see? Okay, 5,000. Come on, get up on his arms. Get up on him. Come on, come on. What's he got? Okay, so he is under half. But the problem is they're trickling in. Okay, how much is left there? All right, running out of food. Here, down here, you down here. The second we're out of food, we're toast. Well, here's the question. Are, are they going to let me gather him as food? If I do, okay, he's down to 32. But I mean, I'm running out of food. Okay, there's another group coming out. Please do not see them. Please do not see them. You know what? Can you guys just go grab that? At this point, I just need all the food I can get. 3,000! 3, 3,000! And we have, a group, we have a group coming their way. Okay, just get on him! Sting him! Poison him! Yeah, I know it's a her, but I'm just saying him. 2,100! Okay, am I in a food? Okay, you guys. Okay, somebody came and got him. Okay, maybe that's enough. I do have more heading his way though. The problem is I think I am actually out of food now. Okay, you can cancel that one and uh, are they done? Yep, they're done. All right, cancel. The unrelenting waves of fire ants have finally achieved their goal. Okay. The bullfrog, sore with blisters, has hopped away. It's likely to give the Invicta colony a wide berth from now on. Okay, come back. Come back, because we're going to get attacked now. Unbeknownst to the ants, the presence of the bullfrog was keeping many other local amphibians at bay. The power vacuum it left behind is attracting a host of salamanders and frogs eager to take its oh, place. This is my doom. The ants should go to ground quickly and prepare for the imminent chaos. And I don't have enough to survive this. I don't have any food. I have 33 warriors. That's what I have. I have 33 warriors. So... I can kill probably two things. Is, you know what? The workers might as well just do stuff for me. Get over there. And there's nothing there. All right, I'm in. Okay, where are they? 
I don't see any red yet. Okay, gather here, guys. Gather here. Near the queen. Near the queen. Okay, see, I'm sending these guys to get some stuff. Maybe they can, like... An ant has fallen victim to a carnivorous plant. Oh, it, Puchetcha viridans, the green link spider, has set a trap under the lid of a okay. yellow pitcher plant. Dangling precariously over the pitcher's corrosive soup, the lynx waits right. patiently. Time after time, insects attracted by the scent of nectar conveniently present themselves at her feet. All right. Is that the only one? Oh, I see another one. All right, I need to break them up. All right, get down here. Get down here. They're both going to be here. Get, kill, kill him. Kill him quick. Kill him quick. There's another one coming from the north. Oh, another, I got to get back up there because that's that's going to be the queen. Kill that, kill that, kill that. Up here, up here, up here, quick. All right, I unfortunately do not have enough to repel. And I've divided my forces. Ah. Oh. Please, please die. Please die. Please, please die. And there's another one coming. It wouldn't matter. Ah, oh, I'm just... Okay, that's it. The ants must protect the queen. I don't have any food to restore my forces. When I ran into those bugs that attacked me on the way up... Yeah, I mean, it's done. Ah, that just sucks so much. The queen has fallen. Unable to amass adequate numbers to meet the perils of the swamp, her passing was almost inevitable. She should never have come here. Okay, not for nothing, but that actually is a lot of them. I mean, that's like what we got um, at the end of the, of the battle there. That's a lot. So after killing the bullfrog, I don't know how we could have done that. But clearly, I just didn't have any food, so there wasn't anything I could do. I have no idea how you get food after you've gotten everything underneath. I mean, just walking over to get 40, and then I got jumped by spiders. And then you had spiders hanging on the top, too. What are you supposed to do about that? I couldn't make any more warriors. The one clear mistake that I made was I turned off the gatherers. So I wasn't able to, like, have a huge force going after the, uh, the frogs because um, the big bulldog, because I ran into those bugs along the way. All right, well, you know what? Close. I did get the bullfrog. But unfortunately, close doesn't get the job done. And I got two spots of territory. I got six royal jelly. And I got 190 food. And the food will be sprinkled on the outside. Right, because so, this is our foracarium, isn't it? And we have food out here. We have food from the first one. And then we have food from this one. So what we may do is start working on gathering it. I don't have a lot of um, I don't have a lot of space after all, but uh, we're going to have to start uh, collecting the food. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe it goes bad. Anyway, that was my second attempt. Definitely a lot better. It's still I just don't understand how you get the food to do it. I I just don't see it out there. I just don't see it. Anyway, that's going to be it for now, so thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it, and play games, because games are fun. See ya!